Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello everyone. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm more than I'm functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. In this video, I'm going to introduce three unique characters, and I'll try my best to expound as much as I can. Hope you enjoy. Betsy Powers. Real name? None. Height? 5 feet 11 inches. Weight? 147 pounds. Status? Human. And CEO of the Power Factory. Base? Power Factory, East New York, Bowl. Intelligence, three and a half rings. Behavior? Creative and optimistic. She always enjoys her job. Lethality. Lack thereof, she's never considered dangerous, weaknesses as above. Powers, she has the uncanny skill of designing clothes for all inhumans, no matter who they happen to be. Eyes, light hazel, hair, blonde, and a pony. Origin, Betsy Powers was once a high school friend of the future Colossa. When she developed a fascination for inhumans, Betsy decided to help with their clothing issue. Eventually, she became the founder and CEO of the Power Factory, the best place for heroes and villains to get any outfit they want. To avoid fights, the Power Factory has two sections for heroes and villains to use without interferences. For those too big to get inside, Betsy would use a cannon to materialize their clothes. And ever since opening day, the Power Factory has been proven perfect for all the humans. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Kings. She's the founder and CEO of the Power Factory for inspiration, fashion designs. Here is the next character. Hope you enjoy. Dog. Real name? None. Height 10 feet. Weight 275 pounds. Status villain and son of Goliath. Face. Brobdenang. Bermuda Triangle. Intelligence three and a half brains. Behavior. Relentless and willful. He'll always honor his mother. Weakness, lethality, extremely dangerous to most opponents. Weaknesses, concussions. He hates being dwarfed. Powers. He has the same powers as his mother, though he isn't really that skilled by comparison. Eyes and hair, 
blackish brown. Origin. One time, Ultrasound, who is the evil counterpart of Priantrum Nonsiculus, who is the goddess of conception, appeared to Galia, who is the queen of the Brobnangians, saying that she will have a son to follow her footsteps. On the day of his birth, Galia named her new son Gog, and she trained him in the art of war. By adulthood, Gog didn't wish to destroy the Lilliputians, but rather spread the Brobnangian territory until it spreads across the world. However, Gog ended up fighting against Janoscoricus, who is the queen of the island of Gynarmica, and Hirikashix, who is the commanderette of the Gynarmican armies until being turned into a midget by Zrinki, a character who has the power to shrink things. Like, as long as it's not herself. Since then, Gog would always think twice before underestimating anyone. Costume, he wears a set of Brobnangian armor. Came solitary with his mother and other villains. Original inspiration, Goliath of Gath. Here's the last character, just so you know. Madame Mass. Real name, Madeline Mason. Height and weight varied. Status hero and ally of Hero X, who is a character with a special belt called the Power Belt that could be able to give her a random power, but only for an hour each. And it's never the same power twice in a row. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains to five brains and a plus. Behavior, willful and optimistic. She enjoys helping society. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. Depends on the selected power. Powers. She has a special power bracelet that enables and disables any ability she desires along with a specific weakness coming with it. Her bracelet is forever fused on her arm and cannot be destroyed. She also has some uncanny reasoning skills. Eyes bright green, hair reddish hazel and flowing. Origin. Madeline Mason was a college graduate who had a hard time finding the perfect occupation. One day, Madeline got a package containing a bronze futuristic bracelet fused onto her right arm. When she used it, she learned that she could get any power and weakness from the bracelet. Naming herself Madame Mass, she went out and successfully helped Hero X win a fight against the genocidal Nazi, who is basically a kaiju-sized Nazi robot tyrant monstrosity with massive bladed hands. Since then, Madame Mass and Hero X have been fast allies along with always doing their best to protect the innocents from tragedy. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary with Hero X and other heroes holds inspiration. Power Bracelets. Those are the characters. And I hope you guys are impressed with what I have to tell you, you know? If you have any questions, you could just answer down below, as well as like, subscribe, and share, you know how it is. I hope you guys enjoy these characters, and I really hope that it would work out for everyone, you know? I made them exist, and I need it to be worth it for everyone. And I apologize for not having much emotion in the past, like how would I have known, you know? I just have to be more presentable some way, somehow. So if you guys enjoy, I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and such, and until next time, enjoy the mission.